Uh, right now we'll talk about fighting on the ropes. I'm gonna talk about controlling the opponent first and smothering them. You know, Tony was the best in this, so let's play the sequence. Now, right on the get-go, you can already see what Tony does here. Uh, he pins the left arm of Barkley, and he controls that arm, forcing Barkley to only be able to use his right hand. You know, he can't use that left hand because it's, it's stuck in there. You know, it's almost like Tony tied a lace of a shoe in there, and he kind of put duct tape you know, on his body to attach that left hand of Barkley. So Barkley can not really use his left hand here. That's the moral of the story. And then uh, Tony can throw that right hand freely. He can just, you know, lean back a little bit, throw that right hand. He's in control right here. And then he's going to let, uh, I mean, Barkley's going to push him back, um, not allow Tony to pin his left arm. Good strategy by Barkley, and then he starts attacking right here. Tony will throw a right uppercut, and then again here, see what um, Tony does with his right hand. He pins it, he puts it over Barkley's left hand so that he can be in control. And then he's going to lean over here, watch what he does with his left hand. He puts it on Barkley's left arm, again, controlling the left hand of Barkley so that he cannot use it. And then here, um, Barkley already looks like he's about to throw the right hand. And as soon as he does that, Tony's going to try to turn. But then as he tries to turn, Barkley's going to try to hug him and, you know, make love. No, just kidding. He's going to try to avoid Tony from creating that angle. Then the sacred referee will break it up, you know. Here's the next sequence. Barkley now will try to engage. And then Tony throws that short uppercut. Signature right uppercut. And then watch Tony's glove once again. He puts it outside of Barkley's left glove so that he could be in control. Once Barkley starts to move that left hand, Tony can instantly throw a short right hand or a short uppercut to counter that. But then Barkley got a little bit lucky here and then it's gonna try to, I don't know what he's gonna try to do here. Here, watch who's in control. Tony's right hand or right arm is on top of Barkley's left arm. So if Barkley plans to throw that left hand, Tony's ready to throw that short right hand, and then that's exactly what happened. All right? I predicted it. Um, Barkley will move that left hand, Tony felt it, and then he throws a short right hand inside. And it disrupts uh, Barkley's pattern. Now Barkley's gonna try to attack again. But the slick Tony just keeps on dodging it. Try to throw a body shot here. And then you're going to see the signature catch and shoot to cap it off. Boom. Right uppercut. Now more ring smarts in this sequence. We'll see Tony grabbing the right arm of Barkley. We'll see him grab the right arm of Barkley right here as he leans over Barkley's uh, right cheek. Now what does this do? It disables the ability of Barkley to use his right hand and it disables Barkley to land his left hand. Why? Because it's leaning over to um, Barkley's right side of the head. So. You know, what he does is he uses Barkley's head to block the, the, the left hand because if Barkley's too close, he won't be able to land that because it's blocking uh, Tony's head. So what Barkley can throw here is a left hand shot to the body. That's all he can throw. And then uh, what happens here, Barkley will try to pull that right hand back, 
as soon as he pulls it back, Tony already feels that uh, Barkley's gonna throw the right hand because what else would he do when he pulls that right hand? Of course, gonna throw a punch. And then Tony times him here with the left hook. There it is. You know, just genius right there. And then throws another left hook. And then ducks under to avoid the hooks of Barkley. Because Barkley's not throwing any uppercuts, so you know, Tony kind of read it. And he just ducks under whenever they're on the inside. Because look what Barkley throws. All he throws is hooks, honestly. And a little bit of left uppercuts here and there. He's very predictable on the inside. All right, finally, torso and head positioning. Uh, the way you position your upper body in order to throw certain punches. If you don't understand what I mean, just watch this. All right. Your Barkley will throw a right hand shot and then uh, Tony will lean back, positioning his torso more to the right side so that he can throw the left hook and then catch Barkley. And here, he leans over to the left side or to his right side and then he throws that right hand. Now he's gonna lean over to his left, throw a left uppercut. And then he stays there, waits for uh, Barkley to throw that right uppercut and is gonna throw a short hook, uppercut hook combination. And then here, he throws a right hook and then he positions his torso to the side. He changes his angle and then he throws that right uppercut. And then, you know, right now he's actually on the side of Barkley rather than in front of Barkley. And then he throws that overhand right or that chopping right, whatever you want to call it. And then he throws the uppercut hook combination. You see, when he starts off with the left hand, he leans over to the left side of his opponent. This is fundamentals right here. Some of y'all might say, oh, that's too obvious, but a lot of people think engaging on the inside just, it's just you leaning over to the left shoulder of your opponent and then throwing uppercuts. That's not what inside fighting means, okay? You need to move your head, move your torso, and not just lean on your opponent's shoulder all day. So that was it. Subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.